This is how I prepare the Costco ahi tuna for sushi. It's $16.99 a pound. I couldn't find the frozen ones, but did find some at H Mart and at Trader Joe's. The FDA says that raw fish has to be frozen for 7 days. However, big fish like this tuna are exempt. First, the smell test. Good. I left this in the fridge for too long and there's some heavy oxidation as shown by the brown and gray parts. These parts are edible, but for video purposes, I'm going to trim it away before cutting it into sashimi. Nice. It's good to be back in the studio. Let's do it. So I picked up the ahi tuna. It's been a couple days in the fridge. I probably should have used this right away. Smell test. A lot of you ask me what this means. If it's really off, like it smells rotten, really fishy, sour, or rank, that's where I stop. So this is like a very preliminary test. If it smells okay, it could still be bad, but it does eliminate absolutely bad. Okay, so I should have this on its own first. No smell. Mm. It's how good tuna should be. Very subtle flavor, the nice texture, very clean ocean taste is how I would describe it. And soy sauce. With proper sushi etiquette, you're never supposed to mix the wasabi with the shoyu, but you know, when I was in Japan, everybody did it. I did it all the time growing up. Don't yuck my yum. Same taste. That's nice. The saltiness of the soy sauce complements the fish so well. The classic way to eat it. it reminds me of Hawaii. Unfortunately, ahi is a very high mercury fish, so I think you're only supposed to eat it. I'll have to look this up. I am eating a lot, so after this one, I'll probably switch back to salmon for a while. I'll try all the other grocery chains and things like that. All right, so my favorite, chogochujang. A lot of you asked me about this. Sweet, sour, salty, and spicy. There's gonna be this little black spot. I don't know if you see it. That's actually a vein. It's okay to eat. I'm reminded of the time I ate the Walmart one. That one was very fishy compared to this. One last note. The one thing I am sad is that the frozen ahi in a bag anymore. If I can find that again, I'll try to do it because I think that's the best value. Everything is cut to a very convenient saku shape so you can just defrost it. Similar to the way you do the salmon except Instead of 30 minutes in the salt water, you can you just have to do 3-4 minutes and that's it. Seriously, that one's pretty damn good. Alright, thanks.